Oh my golly, oh my golly, oh my golly. My head's about to explode. I have so much to tell you guys. So we stepped away, or at least I did, from the Idaho poor case, but not really very far. I just stepped away into the Sebastian Rogers case, the Caleb Harris case, the Madeline Soto case, the Elijah Bue case, but Idaho poor I have been doing for a number of years, right? And with that, hold on just a second. Let me see what I did wrong. Let me open it back up. Yeah, let's go here. So what you're going to be seeing are thumbnails from the Idaho 4 case over the past couple years, right? And I got to thinking, how long have we been on this case? Because what I'm about to tell you, it all snaps this case into making it make sense. If there's one thing every single person that has ever crossed the path of the Idaho Four has asked, is for others to make it make sense. Now, wait until you figure this out with me, because you're about to walk it with me. It's been two years, four months, and 12 days. Actually, a total of 863 days since the homicide of Ethan, Zana, Kaylee, and Maddie. Welcome to 1111 True Crime. Today, we're about to break this case wide open. I truly 100% believe that this, in my humble opinion, is what went down. And you may disagree. You may be like, that could be it, but I doubt it. I'm giving you what I feel after doing years, literally two years, four months on this case. I want to welcome my all-star panel, Gemini65, Lee McKinnon, Nettie Dreamweaver, Darlene Wolf, Rondi Par Potter. Hello, Cara. Cara, can you email me, please? I would appreciate it. Um, hey, Tickety Boo. This is, this is the moment I've been waiting for. So it all goes back to the beginning. And we've all known this information from the very beginning. And that is something that we just brushed over and didn't think about it. We buzzed around it like it was a beehive and we were the bees. But we never landed exactly on what it was. But if you've been an influencer, creator, or even a viewer, or a researcher, armchair sleuth, whatever you want to call it on the Idaho Four case, at one time or another, you've heard mention of the fight, the infamous alleged fight at Sigma Chi. You've also heard tales of, you know, different victims throughout the last few years, right? I mean, think about it. Ethan Chapman, Chapin, Sigma Chi, homicide. But then when you go to Hudson Lindo, it's ruled accidental drowning in, what, a few inches of water? <laughs> Look at that. He just popped up on the screen. My screen's telling you. These are my thumbnails. We have beat around the damn bush and we have not crossed that line. Why was that bite? What was the bite about? What was so upsetting to the entire Greek life that no one dares to speak to this day? That even the defense lawyers, the attorneys, can't get these people to talk. What was the fight about? Well, we heard it many times, right? Think about it. 
Who else was in Sigma Chi? Hmm, Hudson Lindo. But are they connected? Because why would they be connected? You know, because Ethan was a freshman and Hudson Lindo had died the year before. Wait. That's the first clue. Ethan Chapin was his second year as a freshman. He is repeating, repeating his freshman year. He indeed was in the University of Idaho the year before. And guess what? Him and Lin Hudson Lindo were Sigma Chi both. So do you think they knew each other if they are in the same frat? Do you think that Ethan might know what happened to Hudson? And now we're rolling in, and here it comes, the one of the next booms. Hold on just a minute, you guys. i got to pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take a drink. I was starting to cough. I'm very excited. I'm anxious. I want to get it all out, but I want to do it right. So, all right. I was thinking about Hudson. You know, Idaho 4 rolls around in the back of my brain while I'm doing dishes out grocery shopping. Even when I work on other cases, I'll dip into the Idaho 4 case, and it all started making sense. Repeating a freshman, Hudson Lindo. He would know about Hudson Lindo. Repeating a freshman. And then I'm thinking about the whole thing about the 4chan. And I'm like, holy crap. One of the most infamous things that none of us questioned that was said in the 4chan. And let me tell you. There is some stuff now, once I tell you this, that is going to make a lot more sense. It was stated, and I'm going to show it to you, that it all started that first week of Rush. What is Rush, you guys? Who's on the losing end of Rush week? Who gets hazed? Who gets initiated? What have we been talking about? Was this a hazing that went wrong? Blah, 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 blee, blee, blee. Was this, check it out, a freshman that's repeating, that's already been through the shit, that knows that Hudson no longer is with us, that threatened their frat brothers and said, you are not going to haze me. I will speak up. I will tattle, right? You don't haze me. Now think about it. That's like rejecting Greek life. And what is Greek life all about? Control. That's why they haze. That's why they initiate. So that they have lifelong packs of how you can trust each other. So that you can become presidents and have cigars in the secret room and do infamously bad things together and never speak of it because you've got the brotherhood back, right? That's the whole point. And if you think that's not what these frats are about, you're kidding yourself. It's about nepotism and, you know, you never have to prove yourself again because you got your brothers. It's a step up in life, right? But that just got rejected. Because there's no way Ethan is going to go through no damn hazing second year. He isn't going to do it. Now, we all know he's being tutored by the David, right? We know there's a fight. And I'm going to tell you, I believe that there was a fight between a love affair fight, not over Ethan, but about Hudson. And somebody got jealous. And I think Ethan knew about it. And I think Maddie learned about it. And I know that if them two knew it, then Xana knew it. 
Now hear me out. The girls have rejected Greek life. They are up pulling out ship. They're off campus. They're done with the sororities. Guess what, you guys? If you don't believe me, if you think I'm absolutely crazy, who are the two survivors? The only two that are adhering and remaining part of the Greek life. Everybody else is done. And people are like, no, 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 you would only do it one time. Not necessarily. You don't know because you aren't part of those frats. And those frats are different with every single frat. You have no idea. But if that relationship that we're hearing about really wasn't anything to do with Ethan other than he knew, Fair use disclaimer. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976, allows made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Let's get on to this, you guys. This is the Reddit, and I've jumped over. Listen, this is the 4chan parts of it, right? It says, bro. You can see King Road House from David's SX room, Sigma Chi room. Once that third floor light turned off, they did it. 19 minutes total walk included. Why 19? Why not 20? Why 19? Interesting. Talked about this SHIT at Bishop Kelly and Sigma Chi. Loach and Ethan got into a fight that night. Zana allegedly talked she shite. Loach had probs with Mads also. This shite been brewing since Fall Rush last year. See? And he's a freshman twice. And he's not adhering to the Sigma Chi. He's hanging out over here with the girls that are dropping out. He is not participating in the Greek light that much. Now, of course, this is all my own opinion, like I said. Goes on to say, C's went quiet on social media for two weeks before and after the deed. Barry's mom is a paralegal, so he knows not to say shite. Loach cleared his social media. Had to take shite. Sigma Chi, 22, saw... E, okay, Ethan, Zana, Loach, and Barry at the party. A sex 22, okay. Loach and Ethan have issues back to E rushing. I told you guys. Loach and Ethan have issues back to E rushing. I'm talking about the initiation. E talked shite about Loach taking roids and having his balls you know okay listen i think there was there that's two different things i think loach has problems with e not wanting to rush because he'd already been a freshman and he's like screw this shit all right then I think Loach had a problem with that. I think he then turned around and maybe did talk some truths, which pissed off Loach, who wanted Santa. Okay? For dumbass youngins like Ethan, tutors are assigned. Dumbasses. This is all real, you guys. I There's no way this person knows the inner workings on December 12th, 2022. Just short of a month, this person knows the intimate details of these people's lives. This all goes back to Ethan rushing. And he didn't want to do it twice. And he wasn't going to. And I think he knew what happened. Because he would have been there in the same frat. In the same brother frat with Hudson Lindo. Ethan knew what happened, in my opinion. 
there's no way anybody's going to sell me different. I'm just saying. And you may absolutely think I'm crazy. I'm going with it. I'm just saying. Very also self-conscious. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's back up. For dumbass young'uns like Ethan, tutors are assigned. What he means is Ethan had to repeat his freshman year because he did not pass the first time. So he did get a tutor. It was David, I believe. Barry blew it with Ethan. Ethan, a second year fresher. This is a college guy talking, y'all. <sighs> Barry also self-conscious about his spick, blood, and talks empty shite. Now, I'm quoting this. I am not racist. Barry and Loach talked about this shite in general for a while. Talked about it leaving their cell phones behind and on YouTube autoplay. No pings. No guns. Too loud. Area dead early Sunday mornings. Barry even calls out shite media. Media saying, Kaylee was target. That shite is false. Kaylee, bad luck. Targets for Ethan, Zana, and Mads. Mads talk shite about Loach. Never acknowledge Barry. Mads write about that. He's a C. Loach should have taken out Barry. Should have also taken out Barry. Schizo brat sees David's did this. Loach. Mad skills with lacrosse and knife and wrestling. E posed no challenge. They already gave their alibis. DNA not in CODIS. They're laughing now. Dirty South Loach and Ethan hated each other. Barry got a bid because our house GPA sucked. See, this is somebody in the brat. And the NC was on our asses. The NC is the one that's like in charge of shit, the council. Barry's schizo. Dirty South and E could not be more opposites. Mads did talk shite. Dirty also pissed. She with Rogaine Jack. Had to charge. No plug. Matt's got Mads also target. Kaylee's not a target at all. Bad luck. Well-known fact. High probability some brothers are aware. Rogaine. Now you got to remember, this is not Jack D. This is Maddie's boyfriend, Jake. Rogaine, that's because he's got no hair, right? Has ample opportunities and will play grieving boyfriend. Barry actually talked about this shy in detail in the past. Wear electrician's gloves, put on baggy clothes after and walk away. And what do we see in the cop cam in the background when they're doing the alcohol bust? We see four heads popping back through there. By the way, Barry's dad works for a professional cleaning company. That shit was disposed of in Garden City over Thanksgiving holiday. I'm just saying, this all goes back to the fact that Ethan is a repeating freshman. Which means he was there. He was in the same frat house with Lindo, with Hudson Lindo. Absolutely. And we know that if four quadruple homicides are known by everybody in that Greek life before 911 is called, that more than likely probability, plausibility is high. That Ethan knew exactly what happened to Hudson Lindo. And with him repeating as a freshman and rejecting the Greek life, going over and staying with the girls, pissing these people off that are not sane, it all came back to this. I want you to listen close. 
Let me move it back up a little bit. Let's see. Right here. Bruh. That's exactly how one of these guys would talk. Bruh. You as in the letter. And I say that because we're analyzing the writer of this. This is a college student. Bruh. You can see the King Road house from D's XS room. XS Sigma Chi. Once that third floor light turned off, they did it. 19 minutes total. Not 20, not 15. 19 minutes. Walk included. Well, we know it's about a four minute walk. Maybe six. That leaves about the amount of time that the cops are trying to tell us, law enforcement is trying to tell us this happened in. Talked about this shite at Bishop Kelly and Sigma Chi. Loach and Ethan got in a fight that night. Xana allegedly talked shite, which is going to piss off the guy that has a crush on Xana, right? If she's talking shite to him. Loach had problems with Mance also. This shite been brewing since fall. Rush last year. Come down here. For, damn, for dumb ass youngins like Ethan, tutors are assigned. Barry blew it with Ethan. Ethan, a second year fresher. It's all right there. It's been in front of our face the whole damn time. We just weren't adding it up that yes, of course Ethan would have known. Uh, he would have known every detail most likely. These frats. Y'all, have you ever heard? What was it? Hold on. Two years, four months. Y'all, 863 days since a quadruple homicide. Have you heard a peep from Dylan or Bethany or any sorority sister or any of the frat kids on what happened? Have one of them spoken? 863 days. No. And if you say you have, you're lying. So, do you think they can keep a secret? To their grave? But what if? They made a pact. And they told Adam who is still part of the Greek life, that relies on it for his future, that's pledged the details of what they planned. To get justice. Because guess what? Kaylee was a sleuth, like you and me. If she knew even a hint that that boy did not drown in three inches of water? How far would she have really taken it? Would she went to bat like you and me for Hudson Lindo? I bet she would. Maybe Maddie didn't take it serious enough, right? Maddie done pissed him off, and now she done told Adam all about that fight that night. Mm-hmm. So, you know why Bethany and Dylan aren't talking? Because the killer, most likely, is not behind bars. All right. So that's what I have for you today. I'm going to jump over here. I want to hear your opinion. I'm going to take a second to wet my whistle. We're going to get off of this real quick. Let's get back on to our... I made this for you guys. This is a, a lot of our thumbnails over the last two years. It all starts making sense, does it not? Think about it. Bruins since fall. 
Why would anybody have it out for Ethan and Zena and Maddie? But why would Bethany, Be Bethany, oh my gosh, I just combined Dylan and Bethany and came up with Bethany. Why would the Bethany's have been spared? Because they're still part of the Greek life. They're pledged that they are protected by the stamp of approval that you are part of Greek life. That's what. Until anybody can prove me differently, this is what I absolutely 1,000% believe the math works out to be. I believe wholeheartedly that they rushed together because Hudson was 19 years old and Ethan was a first year fresh. They were both in the same frat. They rushed together. And at the end of the season on, what was it, March 30th? No. No. It would have been April 30th. After spending all that time in the frat, Hudson ends up in two inches of water, three inches of water. You damn sure know that if Ethan's in the frat, he knows what happened to his brother. His bro, right? His bro. That's what it is. Bra. He knows what happened to his bra. Mm-hmm. And at some point, he got tight with them girls. Kaylee started talking true crime, and it came out. And this is what the secret is about. And why would it be protected? Because we got $632 million on the gosh dang line that they would not have been able to get if these four little brat brats or five of them Hadn't have done this shit. And just like those poor frat brats that caused this crap, in my opinion, reacted out of pride and ego and disgust and messed up these people. I think they reacted out of pride and ego. I think that's what the Idaho poor is protect is. I think that the university is protecting now is their pride and ego because their pride and ego is what make them a billionaire. It's a numbers game for the elite called Geomatra. Not sure what 19 means, but 1122 comes to 666. Well, 19 is a 10. It's a closed cycle starting fresh and new. I know Geomatra, backward and forward. And it's not for the elite. The elite use it. Doesn't mean they own it. Darlene Wolf says, you think they planted the evidence on BK? Yep. Got them a patsy. Out of state. Foreigner. Windy City says, I will have to research this case. I assumed four nice kids were killed for Brian K. Well, and I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm just saying there's not a ev enough evidence on the table to make me buy it when I truly... I think I have a dog walking by you guys. I'll pause for a minute. This adds everything up. It adds up why there would be told there would be no evidence outside the house. But there's blood running down the side of the house. Right? There probably was evidence on the outside of the house. There are three male unknown DNAs that they will not test. How do they know they're male? Unless they tested them. So they damn sure know there's something they don't want to talk about. Because they wouldn't know they were male if they didn't run a test. No, love, nothing's wrong with Jack and Lucky. There's a guy walking his big dog outside, and I live by a park, and it's getting warmer, and so my dogs are responding. <laughs> hey, Water Otter, he said, did BK live in Building G Apartment 201? I do not know. He lived in Pullman, that's what I can tell you. Hey, Sherry Irvin, Frognado says, I thought that was a sound bite of Murphy barking. No, that's my boy's. 
Darling Wolf, I had been thinking the same thing for months, just trying to put it all together. This is insane. I'm telling you, you guys, there is no way in hell that we could even dismiss this. This is real. Ethan Chapin is a repeating freshman. That means when it came to Hudson Lindo's death, Hudson Lindo is Sigma Chi. Ethan Chapin, Sigma Chi. Same frat house. Double deaths in six months from the same frat house? Uh-uh. That crosses a coincidental alignment in the universe. That is beyond Murphy's Law. There's no way in hell. They are connected, in my opinion. And I truly believe that that is being told to us in this 4chan. Let's see, where did I have that? Right here. I mean, look, they're telling us. Think about this. Who the hell is going to write like this but a college guy? And he's even talking about um, who the NC is. The NC was on our asses, right? Our house, GPA sucked. This is a Sigma Chi guy. Lord, help me. Listen, Sigma Chi guy is writing this. Schizo frat sees David did this. The Davids did this. Loach, mad skills with lacrosse. And a knife and wrestling. Who's going to make shit up and use the word lacrosse unless that's really your sport? Please. People, discern. Ethan posed no challenge. In other words, Ethan was not ready for this person. They already gave their alibis DNA, not in CODIS. That means they gave their DNA. That means they gave their their DNA, if it's not in the CODIS. Who are the three unknown male DNAs? My money's on the Davids! Dirty dog, dirty, dirty south. Brah, you can see the King Road house from D's Davids, both of them's Sigma Chi room. Once that third floor light turned off, they did it 19 minutes flat I mean, I'm just saying this shite been brewing since fall rush last year uh huh this is it Chapin's still living at the Brett house and being princess points out Robin Davis Ducksworth. I'm just going to ask you guys something and, and I'm just going to throw it out there. And I know, I know some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, that was a room splitter. I'm just going to ask you to remember everybody can have a different opinion and it doesn't mean I don't love you. I love it when y'all have your own opinion. But okay, my kid, let's say, um, I have triplets and a kid and I lose one kid at that school. Okay, am I going to send my other kids back there? No, I personally wouldn't. I would be terrified. There'd be something internally telling me no. But now, think about this. I hate to even say this, but how much was it costing to put this child through school and he's got a tutor and and he's not making it in school. And if you're not a parent that has their priorities straightened out, maybe you would just be like, oh, well, you know, nature takes out the weak ones, I guess. I don't know. I know that sounded horrific, but I share a lot of my thoughts of what somebody else might think. I don't feel that way. I'm just saying, I, I don't know. Why would you let your kids go back to that school? Why would you let your kids be part of any of the brats at all? I I can't get past that. And it's like, oh, but we get free tuition now and and our girl is a sweetheart. Okay, so are you being bought? Was there a price there? 
that you just had to swallow because you can't do anything about it anyway? I don't know. I, I can't do the math that way. But I will tell you, until somebody can tell me that this wasn't a connection between Hudson Lindo and Ethan Chapin, then Hudson's gone, and then this fight breaks out, and I think it was a lot seriouser because what gets somebody killed is not going to be telling somebody that they got shriveled little ti tiny gonads. What could get somebody killed is that they're about to turn you in for red rum. That could get them all killed. That could ruin not only Greek life, but everything for these boys. Especially if we're talking about same-sex relationships and if my if my gut is right that there may have been a same-sex relationship between Hudson when living and someone else and somebody got real, real jealous and then Hudson ends up floating in three feet of water or three inches of water. That's that's the jealousy I'm talking about. That's the three-way I'm talking about. And then that would make sense. Why all of a sudden somebody would be defending and be like, and I don't know why you thought you were so important as a lover anyway. You probably can't even get it up. See what I'm saying? It all clicks in. It's like somebody poured a thousand piece puzzle on the table and I've been looking at it. You've been looking at it. We all been looking at it. And we got the border done and we got pieces, but we couldn't see it. 863 days later. And I wasn't even looking at nothing. It just all came in. And I was like, oh my God. Ethan's a second year freshman. Holy shite. He knew what happened. And the rage is about jealousy. You're right. You're right, contrary, Marge. This rage killing is about rejection and jealousy. Absolutely. Shelley Shepherdson, Sally Shepherdson says the Chapins were the only family to get their child's body back. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Nicola Moody says, money is money is money. Love, heart, and soul counts. I don't think this was about money. I think this was about rage and rejection and jealousy. And the cover-up is about pride, ego, and money. Fallon, all brats would be in trouble. Possible prison, ruined lives, embarrassed families because big hazing, unaliving. They all had something to lose. So could not let E and the other three survive. And there would be. Every single one of them would have skin in the game. There would not be a lookout. They would have went in and done it quick all at once. Anonymous Anonymous, welcome to a level of true crime. The Ropers, good to see you, lovely. I love you to the moon and back, too. Good to see you all. Gemini 65 says a yes and a yes on revenge. Love Tina says, I don't think any of this is what the girls told Adam. We need to know, we need to know what Adam knows. I think it was about the fight that night myself. I really do. That's just my humble opinion. Kaylee may be going to report it. That's what I'm saying. I think Kaylee was coming forward. And I think Ethan was prepared to do what he needed to do. I think he was leaving the brats behind. And I think the girls pull out a sorority. And I think that's why Kaylee did not want to go back to Moscow. And if this is all true... And this all came out in front of the Sigma guys, where Hudson Lindo's name was brought up in that fight, and every one of the Sigma guys knew what was on the line. You can bet your bottom dollar, nobody, none of the Sigma guys, 
we're going to say shit. Catherine S. says, this was one of my original thoughts, but then so many other things came out that makes more sense with the info in the video you did entitled JJB email, although I did find that believable as well. And there could have been some rugs involved. I think it would have been more steroids. You just don't know. Hey, Jenny girl, boys on the band build, LA's timestamp body cam seem to be looking at crime scene photo now that we know KG was found in seated position on Maddie's twin bad. And you know what? Check it out. If this is true, we don't got to move the timeline to match Koberger. We get to stick with what the cops knew all along. The original timeline. Was the timeline changed to protect the four shadows running across the body cam footage? And furthermore, were the boys that were pulled over and arrested or given a ticket, whatever you want to call it, for the underage drinking. Was that all a, well, let's just call it a diversion, a distraction. Fallon believes multiple Essenes of K, etc. all took their terms, all had B-O-O-D. B-L-O-O-D, on their hands. Catherine S. says, but I think you're right. It's possible, simple explanation, and not a huge conspiracy. Well, think about it. If these kids did it, then you know the whole story. And if it falls back to Rush of the previous year, yeah, guess who would have rushed with Ethan? Ethan would have been closer with a freshman, right? With a 19-year-old named Hudson. Because that's what Ethan would have been. And they both would have been in the same frat. Going through the same rough experience of trying to make it through their first year in a frat. And then Hudson's dead three inches in water. And then we got... All of a sudden, Ethan, pulling away from Sigma Chi, pulling closer to the girls. We got the girls dropping out of sorority classes. We got Ethan dropping the brat. Oh, we got everybody coming together over here in this house on King Road, Queen Road. And all the Jacks dating the Queens. And we may have had a lot of animosity, resentment, hatred, jealousy of making them feel like their frat wasn't worth their time. Sororities weren't worth their time. And these people lost their lives over somebody's ego, in my opinion. Tour 16, will they be arrested? The Davids, no. Because I believe that there's more than the Davids. I believe there's four. And I believe three of the unknown male DNAs that we don't hear about could possibly connect us to the Davids. Because it talks about the DNA right here. DNA not in CODIS. How they check the CODIS if they didn't take the DNA of the Davids? We know the cops were over at the Sigma Chi Chi house forever. Did the cops go, oh, well, you guys were always in the house, huh? So we're just going to let it go. Yeah, Dirty South Loach and E hated each other because Loach was jealous, right? I don't know. This is you guys' call. The Roper says Sherlock Holmes always said the simplest explanation is the right one. Celtic Girl says, hey, new subscriber. What have I missed? Sorry, I was... Oh, <laughs> welcome, Celtic Girl. Welcome. You missed, you missed something, I think. <laughs> but you'll catch up. You'll catch up. Yeah, I really do. I think this is it. 
Oh, has it only been 491 days? <laughs> Maybe I did my math wrong. Okay, 491 days. Scratch, I eat 63. But you get my point. To me, it felt like 863. Love, Tina says, well, if they knew this, why are they insisting on nailing Brian? Why? You guys, I, I, I can't point this out enough. Okay? Listen to me. For those of you that can't understand that concept, I, I don't know how much clearer to put it. It's like a mom. Consider the mom the Idaho University. Consider the brats the kids, their own children. The mom, the dad, and the kids. They don't want their kids in trouble because it makes them look bad. All of a sudden, nobody wants to go to their crappy killer college, right? So it cannot be anybody from the college. It can't be somebody from a frat house. You would make the national news. Idaho. Think of the think of the the headlines. University of Idaho. Right? Would go across a whole screen. Frat rampage results in quadruple homicide. School has to take action. Every rule and protocol, this would destroy the college, you guys, if it comes back on their doorstep. Nobody wants to send their kids to a college where the other students might take up arms and be the demise. Right, that means the dingling L.E. would be involved, in my humble opinion. Yeah, they would be covering this crap right the heck up because they're local. It all starts falling into place. It's going to take time for this to all settle in. But I absolutely believe that Ethan Chapin and Hudson Lindo rushed together the previous year in 2021. Then that means that they were both Sigma Chi. They were both freshmen. They would have rushed together, in my opinion. And then Hudson Lindo is in three inches of water. I believe Ethan knew what happened without a shadow of a doubt. I believe Kaylee caught wind of it. Kaylee is the one that is digging deep. She is the one that is always on these crime sleuth things like we are. And she probably did not know when to quit. Right? I've been there. Why well, I push the envelope a little bit harder and a little bit harder. And I know I'm getting in the danger zone. Just like right now. Think about them two guys. Who the hell knows where they are right now? They're going to be like, ah, oh, shit, one of those YouTubers. You know? But hey, I got I to gotta get it out there. Right, Jenny. Nightmare on Elm Street come to life. Darlene Wolf, did any of the parents go to the school? Just wondering. Not that I'm aware of. Amy Lane, welcome to 1111. You say Scott Green must definitely know all this as well and had to protect the school at all costs. I believe so. Because it's worth three quarters of a billion dollars in this secret. That's what's worth hanging a patsy out to dry. Not even from Idaho. It's like, oh, now we can play the victims because somebody from out of state did the naughty. So now Idaho is the victim. Much better PR scene, right? Gemini 65, Dylan lured her into this, in my opinion. Catherine Holgate says Ethan's parents and even siblings, I'm not sure about. And there's you're not alone on that. Sherlock Kendra, T.G. Goth, <laughs> welcome to 1111 True Crime. Green spills a bunch in his book. You know, if I didn't want to give him some money, like I won't, I would probably read his book. George Haynes, welcome to 1111 Sigma Chi Boys, all photographed with the K-bars. They all had one, and DM had the X as they used on KG, in my opinion. I have heard, I mean, I have seen I have seen the, the David holding the big, like, it looked like a machete cave our knife. Yeah. 
there's no doubt in my mind this is what happened. And we don't need to try to explain why there's no DNA outside the house. How did anybody leave without leaving any DNA? Well, when you got somebody that ain't even going to look for it, and how do I prove it? Two ways. They didn't give a flying fluck about the DNA outside, or they would have found the glove that Mr. McDonut found, right? They would have taken the jacket immediately that was hanging on the fire hydrant. They didn't give a fluck about the actual evidence. The only thing they cared about is making sure that the real evidence, if it got collected, would fit the new Patsy, could be adjusted, in my opinion. Has Hudson's parents spoke out? I am not sure on that, lovely. Hey, Az says. Okay, I'll leave that because that's more personal. So, I definitely believe that there is at least four individuals that all took part because we have four victims and we have four silhouettes going across the body cam footage of L.E. right at about the time that this would have all taken place. We hear a scream early on in the video. The cam. It just all makes sense. It makes sense that there would be watchers, but they're they're the ones, I believe the ones that were supposed to be lookout are the ones that got out in that band field away from everything. It was like, uh, uh, oh yeah, no, we're not even hardly drinking. What were they doing out there? None of them looked drunk. None of them were falling down in the street. They were watchers. I believe they were absolute watchers. And they were probably initiates that had to watch because they're all underage drinking. So they're freshmen themselves. And who has taken out the others? The four that are running behind the cam. See? I'll leave it up to you to draw your own conclusions. Absolutely. We're all entitled to our own opinion. But I absolutely believe that Ethan knew exactly what happened to his frat boy that he rushed with, Hudson Lindo. And I believe that that ultimately is what sparked the fighting, is that they wanted to rush again with Ethan because I think they were gunning for him. And they're like, you're a freshman, you're going to rush again. And he was like, the hell I am. In fact, I'm not even going to be staying at Sigma Chi. I'll be crashing at Xanus. Poof. And that infuriated and fueled the fight. And I think that night, there got to be a big fight. And it probably was started by the Davids because they probably knew that they wanted to get it raging so that they had the emotion and the adrenaline. And I think that that fight went from Sigma Chi and I think that the, the Davids and the others just busted in the house while they were sleeping. And I think they went through the windows. I don't think they used a damn door at all. There's a ladder propped outside by Xanos. If that door would have been locked, hey, go in the window. These two go in this window, take out Xana and Ethan, crawl back out that window, and down. The other one, he used that tree. Boom, boom. You're on third balcony. Slider door. That's where the dog gets played with. Boom, into Maddie's room. Take them out, those two. Back out that slider door. No tracks between the rooms. No blood between the rooms. No battle in the living room. Nothing. Clean as a whistle. The only, the only DNA would be in the bedrooms. Now, if that's true, maybe Dylan and Bethany didn't know it was going to that level. Maybe they were in on it. I'll let you decide. All right, my lovelies, we are nearing an hour. Julie Cook says blood from victims is not evidence needed. Is not evidence needed. Not sure what you're referring to. Kizzle 316, dear. There's clips on my page. I'm not even a creator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
I miss something. <laughs> All right, my loves. I want to say thank you so much. I hope and pray for true justice for the Idaho Four. I truly do believe 1,000% that there is a connection, a serious connection uh, between, and I mean to tell you, both Sigma Chi, both rushing together, Hudson Lindo dead on, what was it, April 30th, Ethan, almost six months to the day, almost six months to the day, let's count it. Yeah, it would have been like a week or so short of six months between Hudson Lindo's death and Ethan Chapin. But you can't leave yet, Gina. <laughs> but, but, but lovely, if I stay on here, then not everybody wants to watch it all. It gets too long. Sarah Kizenbach says, of course a brass can keep secrets. Anything they do is kept in secret. It's a foundation of brass. Rush week is a test to see if you can keep secrets. You're not a brother, because bros do. Even Hunter. Thank you, lovely. As says, I wonder about Quinn, Joe Bennett, and Cartels. And with that, if you enjoyed our time together and it was worth your time, I appreciate any support that you offer in any way that you do it, including hitting the like, subscribing, sharing the content, whatever you do. I love ya. To the moon and back. I'll see ya tomorrow. <laughs>